What is up YouTube? The topic for today's video is actually getting started with Streamlit. Um, so Streamlit is this like open source Python library, which helps you create uh, uh, data slash machine learning apps relatively very easily. So uh, a few things about uh, Streamlit uh, is a Streamlit kind of turns basic data Python scripts uh, into apps within minutes. Like it's super easy to get started with Streamlit. Uh, and if you know how to code Python and uh, a lot of data scientists and data engineers are mainly very well versed with Python. Just before I get started with the tutorial, I wanted to show a few things in terms of popularity of Streamlit. I was just looking at the Google Trends out there. In terms of search indexes, uh, it has quite uh, increased a lot uh, over time. Uh, and in terms of like tweets out there, I was looking at Streamlit, uh, a lot of people are kind of using it on a daily basis. On a daily basis, you can get, get tweets uh, around at the Streamlit. So it's it's definitely a growing trend. I could not find anything on a, uh, the Stack Overflow trends yet, but yeah, I think uh, it's gonna be out there eventually. Being it so simple in terms of usage, uh, definitely gonna be super popular. So it's very easy to get started with Streamlit. You can just do pip install and and just do a simple command like streamlit and your Python 5, it kind of runs it very easily uh, on your development environment. So very easy to make uh, prototypes uh, using streamlit. Uh, quick things to show. Uh, yeah, so in terms of if you're looking to get inspiration and, uh, and see how people are using it, you can definitely see on their main website, uh, there is a, uh, category which shows all the featured dashboards people have built. So you can just go there and explore it as well. So uh, it would be a, a good uh, thing to look at this uh, in terms of inspiration and how people are actually using it. Moving on with the actual tutorial, a uh, few key things and few com key commands to note. Uh, when you st get started with the, the Streamlit, you just import it as Streamlit uh, like as, as, as a variable. And then um, a few commands to note is like uh, stream streamlit.title and streamlit.write. The title is going to give the title to your the web app, like as simple as that. And the write is like a very versatile command, like the Swiss army for the Swiss army knife for streamlit. I can like give a uh, put out text, data, like tables, uh, figures, like like the mat mat plot lip, uh, charts, etc. So you don't have to worry much. It's very intuitive in terms of like how Python is in general. So when you want to write something in your web app, you just do st.write and uh, whatever thing, and, or you can just write down the data frames, etc. So it's very easy to show up a data frame using the write command or just the magic command itself. Uh, it's uh, also very easy to plot a chart. Uh, it's, it's kind of a very similar to matplotlib, but yeah, uh, the way you plot a chart is like a, just do a st.line chart. Uh, the simple charts are very easy to do, but yeah, complex chart can also be done and you can also import uh, some kind of JavaScript widget if you want to do like some complex uh, widgets or charts in that way. The good thing which I feel about Streamlit is uh, is basically the ability of the interactivity. Uh, so these uh, interactive widgets are uh, inherited in this library itself. So if you want to plot a checkbox, it's just doing a create an st dot checkbox and uh, it comes under it, something like that. So if you want to create a select box, uh, then it's you're going to just have to pass a column it automatically picks up uh, all the options in terms of the select box and it's gonna show it up there. Uh, there's also uh, providing the layout, you can provide a sidebar, uh, very intuitive uh, in terms of how to build the app. So let me just move on to the, uh, the app I built already. Uh, it's based on the first first app reference already and it contains uh, all these details. So so to once I create this Python app, it's just basically writing Python code. Uh, and when you wanna run it, you just do streamlit. Uh, run your your app name. Yep. So it's gonna take a few seconds. Yeah, it's already there. So uh, as you can already see, the app is uh, already in my dev environment, and uh, you can see on the left, which is the sidebar, uh, and there's like the option box, the select box in place. You can use this to create that. You can close it, and it looks like a very regular uh, web app. Uh, if you can see the output of my uh, write commands of the data frame, uh, it's already being shown in, in, in a very useful fashion. You can always click on zoom and uh, sh sh uh, see the whole data frame itself. Uh, very good thing in terms of prototyping, etc. 
and uh, and then uh, in terms of uh, showing the line charts uh, as I showed you can use the right command and do right uh, like st dot line chart it's going dif to display uh, the chart in place you just need to provide the data uh, building the app is very intuitive so as I was showing up the chart back there uh, in the app uh, so in terms of showing the chart I just use random points uh, and in San Francisco, the way I just uh, did it was like, first I generated this data set uh, in the data frame. Then I use this data set, um, which is like a data frame and use it over the map function under streamlit, uh, very easy to plot them. So it all automatically figures out the lat and long. You have to follow, the, uh, just give the right column names and it uses that to uh, build this map. And all of this is like uh, using a library called Mapbox uh, internally. So you don't actually have to worry about it. So uh, in terms of showing data, uh, I kind of see, see it comparing to Tableau, uh, but uh, much more advanced because yeah, you're doing things in Python and a lot of the times uh, the data set is not as large. So in, and like, even if you have large data set, you can have like small skews of it, aggregations of it to show things uh, in the right place. And that's where uh, this thing kind of shines because uh, you're, use, you're super familiar with Python and kind of using it to uh, build all these kind of apps with a lot of interactivity. It's so simple and uh, to add in interactivity with sidebars and uh, buttons and checkboxes. Uh, Streamlit automatically figures out all the options in terms of checkboxes, uh, easy to plot charts, zoom in, zoom out. Uh, I think it's uh, as a personal opinion, uh, it's a very comprehensive uh, uh, way on in terms of creating an app so you can very easily uh, lay down an app in terms of a web app and just deploy it and uh, very good for prototyping I would say when you have all, all this data set and if you want to show some stakeholders it uh, it's, it's a very good option to use this compared to uh, other other things which are out there like Tableau people which are very comfortable with uh, it's not a direct competition but you can see uh, in terms of the visualization space uh, Streamlit is very convenient for a Python uh, developer like me so I think um, this would be like the way to go eventually, being free, open source, um, nothing can beat it, I would say. It's just that uh, you need to sometimes optimize your data uh, so that uh, uh, the, the app loads uh, faster and it's a bit optimized in terms of showing the data. So I would say uh, that's about it on the video. Uh, uh, quite interesting uh, to see all this app. Uh, if you found this video to be interesting and useful for your use case, uh, definitely leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Uh, it helps with my channel. And thanks a lot for all the subscribers who have uh, I, who have subscribed to my channel. Really helps a lot. I'm I'm gonna post a lot more regular content. I'm kind of determined to do it anyways. So thanks a lot for watching this video.